Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Mm -hmm. Me, I'm doing real good. Finally, the purple tiny house has made it to New Mexico. If you watched my last video, just did get here. Uh, the truck that uh, delivered it blew its engine a mile after it left uh, from RV base camp here in Arizona. That sucker just limped on in here. But we made it. I've enjoyed a couple days here. Um, I still have some cleaning that I have to do, but that's not, uh, that's not what, that, what this video is about. I had another uh, electronics company reach out to me. Oops. O U P E S. Oops. 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 With their brand new 1800 watt portable power station. They sent it to me. They sent it with uh, four 100 watt portable solar panels. They said, Hey, Camper Van Kevin, will you try it out? See what you think. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. So that's what our video is going to be about today. I'm going to uh, power it up with the uh, solar panels. I'm going to see what kind of quality they've got. I've got several uh, devices here inside the Purple Tiny House that I'd like to see uh, how it powers, um, how much energy it uses, my product shoes, those kind of things. Anyway, let's get to it. <laughs> got my trusty sidekick, Felix. From Go. Big Dog RVer right here. He uh he's making faces and funny gestures trying to mess me up. <laughs> I've stuffed up the uh out of the rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We tried shooting this uh yesterday, but the rain came in. Pollen. It's still better than Georgia. Oh yeah. We got Tucker here. He's uh doing security for the set, making sure that uh no wild creatures or, or mean two-legged uh, animals come and mess with us. Baby May May and Martini, especially Martini, they're hunting cicadas. I don't know how many cicadas it takes to fill up a Yorkie uh, when they eat them, but Martini is, is, is up to the challenge and wants to find out. Got a little bit of grading work before we get to the review. My grading work to level out my spot for my home here. It's uh, well underway. The guy was here last night doing what he could to get that level. Other than that, just uh, moving some of my stuff around here or there and getting the uh, purple house ready for use. So here's the OOPS 1800 watt portable power station that they sent me. They also sent me four 100 watt portable solar panels. We'll get to this in a minute. But uh, I've been uh, using it for the last couple days, kind of playing with it, learning how to use it, learning some of its features. Uh, let's start out with uh, how you power it. You have two inputs, and you can use a cigarette light, cigarette lighter adapter. Dun, dun, dun. This will charge it from, um, from zero, but it's slow. It takes like 17 hours. It comes with a power brick. Now, uh, it just comes with one. You can charge it with one power brick, or you can order an additional power brick, and you can charge it from zero to 100% full in about, mm, let's say, three and a half hours. Handy dandy. Then, of course, you can use the solar panels here. One neat thing about this power station is that you're not just stuck using one of those options. You can use any of the other options including the solar panels. You can, you can mix and match. You can use the solar panels. Uh, you can use up to 200 watts of the solar panels. And then 
one of the charging bricks that you plug into the wall. Uh, so you're not just stuck with one way to charge it one way at one time. Is that what I'm trying to say? I think that's what I'm trying to say. So what what did you say, Felix? Is that it runs simultaneously, it charges from one channel and it also charges from solar. At the same time? Yeah, I can charge from AC okay. and solar at the same time. Cool. Right? Right. This unit uh for its size uh is quite lightweight. It only weighs uh thirty three pounds. The the battery size uh, rated capacity of 1,488 watt hours. So it's uh, it's quite powerful. It has the LifePo 4 batteries in it, and you can go from zero to 100% full. Uh, you can do that 20. It's got a you can do that 2,500 times. So its life cycle is 2,500 times of use. So this could last you for years. Now, even though it has a 1800 watt pure sine wave inverter, it uh, will do uh, like a 4000 watt, uh, what do you call it, a surge for just, just, a few, just a few seconds. So that should be able to cut on a lot of the larger devices. And what I like about a pure sine wave inverter versus a modified, uh, you can, uh, it's, it's safer for your electronics. Many of you know that watch my channel that my, I have severe sleep apnea, and my sleep apnea is what got me interested in solar to begin with. Uh, running a Honda generator all night just to power a five watt uh, sleep apnea machine really didn't make sense. I mean, even though I could go eight hours on a gallon of gas, I just never liked running an engine just for that. I don't care how small and how efficient. It seemed like a waste to me. The sun's getting bright out here, so I'm going to take it in so we can see this display a little bit better. I'm just going to set it on my bed inside the purple tiny house here. So hang on. Okay. Now, like I said, I just have moved this building, and not everything in here is spick and span as I would like. I like to keep things clean. But you guys are just going to have to understand. So, uh, got three AC plugs. Got them on here. You got your DC side. It's your standard 12 volt. And you've got some uh, USB right here. I am not familiar with these type of plugs. If you are, you need them well you got them control the DC side here like so like so I charged it up yesterday uh, with a wall AC uh, plug the brick and it only took about two hours it came in 50% full. 50% full a real nice display. Oh, I almost forgot to show you. You need a light? You got one. How about them apples? All right, let's take a look at those solar panels. Okay, here's Oops 100 watt solar panel. And if you think about it, four of these, they really don't take up much room. Now you can buy the unit just by itself. You can buy it with two solar panels or four solar panels. They offer different uh, purchase options. Nice quality. Very long cord. So if you want to set these out in the sun and leave that in the shade, well, I'm guessing you have 10 to 12 feet at least to, uh, to do that with. They have their own uh, splitters, connectors. Now, I'm used to the MC4s. You might be more familiar with these than me. But, uh, all right, let's put this back up and I'll show you the panels itself. 
to me, everything feels high quality. Somebody put some time, effort, and energy into thinking all this through. These are your legs that you stand the solar panels up on. Technology, right? Now this is your your plastic peel to keep your panels in good shape during you know transport and stuff from the manufacturing plant to you. I thought of everything. It's it's heavy duty. But still, it's not heavy, right? I'm going to go set these up. You don't miss anything, do you, baby May Mays? No. All right. Got the solar panel set out here. These kind of have some pluses and minuses like everything else. You know, it takes time to set them up. Not a long time, but it takes a minute. And if you're gonna go, of course, you gotta put them up. You don't wanna leave them sitting around your camp, but they'll grow legs. Um, you know, it's convenient having them mounted, having solar panels mounted permanent on top of your RV, but you may or may not be in an RV. What if you're an overlander? What if you have a rooftop tent, like on top of the Wolf Wolf Wagon here? There's really no place to set solar panels at all. So this option here could be your best option. You may have an RV and you just don't want to put holes on top of it. So this is what you'll be doing instead. So each one of these solar panels came with a splitter. Like I said, these are not MC4s. But each one came with a splitter. So actually I have two extra. But let me hook everything together here. So this is kind of hard to screw up. You got one line come in, plugs into here, line from your other solar panel, comes into here to your Y splitter. You got two inputs on the front of the oops. This makes one. I'll do the same thing to those. Get this off the bed here. Dun, 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 dun. Set it here. So it's still in the shade. And we can plug up. So you take each one of your connectors and you go into your input. Just like so. Now it's going to tell you how many watts are coming in. It's rising up. We'll give it a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, so currently, out of 400 watts, I'm getting 190. I've seen 200. And it goes back and forth. I may not be pointed directly at the sun at the right angle. I've also left that cellophane on the front there to keep them from getting scratched. I wasn't quite happy with the amount of solar I was getting in. So I had an idea. It's noon, which means the sun's directly overhead. So I did this. I laid them down flat. Let's see how much better, how much more power I'm bringing in this way. Uh-huh. Brought in another 50 watts. So, like everything, kind of mess with your panels to you get the right angle pointing in the right direction. Still not too shabby. So while the sun is doing its thing, I thought I might plug in a couple uh, household uh, devices to see how it uh, handles them. One of my favorite toys in the kitchen is this New Wave 2 induction cooktop. And you can actually boil water in 30 seconds flat. The, don't, don't buy this kettle at Walmart. 
it's junk, but it's pretty to look at. All right, so I'm going to put it on high. Got some water in there. Start. There it goes. Let's turn this toward us a little bit. So right there, it shows the, wa the, the watts that you're using. And it shows the input voltage from the solar panels. Yep, yep, yep. It also tells you the, run, the expected run time using that device. Very interesting. Well, water boils in about 30 seconds, but it takes about two minutes to make this tea kettle whistle. There she blows. Y'all got to get you one of these. I got it used or rebuilt. No, this one. Got it used off eBay a couple years ago for around $70. Nice, nice, nice. Factory refurb, what they call it. So I used a, a few percents. I was, at, I think, at 96. Went down to 93. But it handled it just fine. Now the sun can make your coffee. Just saying. Well, that works so well. I thought I might get my, uh, my backup CPAP machine. See how it runs it. I'm curious to know exactly how many watts it uses when it's running. I don't use this one much anymore, but uh, I must sleep with a CPAP and everything breaks. So here's my backup. So I've got it plugged into the, oops, 1800 watt power station. Let's see what it does. All right, got my mask on. I know, I know. It's, it's too sexy for prime time video. I get it. I get it. But uh, y'all try to control yourselves. Bear with me. We're, we're, we're conducting science here, right? So I'm getting air. And it's using six, seven. Let me breathe normal. So it's using between six and nine watts. The solar is still bringing in 248. That'll work. Let me see uh, how long this battery will power this. Now, I'm not using a humidifier. Uh, I never have run a humidifier, even when I lived in a house. So let's see how long this will run without the solar input. Okay, I've got the uh, solar disconnected. I still use the CPAP, so I'm talking a little funny. This oops says it will run the CPAP. Not, I'm not running humidifier now. It says it'll run it 59 hours. It took a minute after I disconnected the solar for it to, to set up like it needs to. According to my math, let's say you, uh, you're going camping, you take your CPAP, you don't run anything else, that'll run it for seven nights without a recharge. This particular machine today, that's what it's using. That's pretty good. Okay. Okay, one more test before we go. This thing's under warranty, right? <laughs> I cool the purple tiny house with a GE Energy Star Energy Saver 6000 BTU window air conditioner. I wonder how many watts this thing runs on. So obviously I know this oops won't power my room window air conditioner for long. But I'm curious at how many watts it uses when the uh, compressor's on. Y'all wanna see? I wanna see. Now I've run a heavy duty extension cord over to it. Not gonna like it. I don't know that. There we go. 
the top number showing the wattage. Compressor's not kicking on, that's just the fan. It takes a minute, it's got a safety feature on it that once the, like, the power gets knocked off, the compressor, it takes a minute for the compressor to come back on. So that's what we're waiting on. While we're waiting, uh, the people that sent this to me, they just sent me a discount code for all my Camper Van Kevin uh, viewers, subscribers. It'll be down in the description below. Along, if I can find the current price with this and the four panels, I'll, I'll post it right here. Obviously, it's less with two panels. Obviously, it's less, cost even less if you just get the device. I'm not sure what, what if you could get these adapters or not. If you've got your own solar panels, you need to get in touch with Oops. Or maybe this is something that's more commercial than I'm, I'm aware of. Commer commercially available is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I heard the compressor kick on. Here we go. The display cuts off by itself after a few minutes. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Get them lots of rolling, roll high. Still cold air on my back. We're bringing in 238 watts. We're using 370 watts. Well, that's really more efficient than I expected. And it's saying with this many watts coming in, using that many watts, this battery is good for nine hours. Okay. I'm impressed. Go back over here and that's cold air. This thing has a special feature on it too. When um, when the room reaches its desired temperature, the fan cuts off as well. So it's an energy saver. I think I paid two hundred dollars for this at Best Buy a couple years ago. They're probably about ten million dollars uh, now. Okay, it's been about five minutes since I walked over to the air conditioner and showed it to you. I'd say we're holding. I mean, we're losing slowly, but it's working. So I've got another 15, 1600 watts that I can use at the same time. Of course, I'm depleting the battery. So remember, whatever, uh, whatever you take out of your battery, you got to put back. Just because it'll power it for nine hours, uh, don't mean you can do it all the time. You get, you, you, you. <laughs> You got to have the sun put it back in, or you're going to have to have the 12 volt cigarette lighter put it back in, or the wall adapter. But uh, you know what it beats? It beats no air conditioning. All right. I think that'll make. I think that'll make today's video. So I'm going to end this one where, right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon, and you guys take care. And as always, I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my savior. It's my first experience with, co with a company. I don't know much about them. Made in China like everything else. Has a good battery. Two-year warranty. Yeah, I think it's two-year warranty. The panels, maybe one year. Got to check. Like everything in life is roll of the dice. Hope you enjoyed the video. Got to go. Bye-bye.